Hello, Michael here again with another Render Man tutorial. Tonight, we're going to be talking about XGen Fur, which is a favorite amongst the community. Um, so let's just get right into it. Uh, fur can be a bit of a pain with Render Man, but um, in this version, I haven't done actually done Fur in like quite a few months, but I uh, figured out how to do it with 21. So it's very simple. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your documents, Maya 2016. Uh, go to your Maya.env, right click on it, and uh, open it with Notepad. I've got Notepad++, so that's why it looks different from yours possibly. Uh, when you open your Maya.env, it probably won't look exactly like this. There'll probably be a couple of things that are similar. You might have a Maya underscore script path and a Maya underscore plugin path. Um, we're going to add an extra um, line. Uh, that line is Maya underscore path forward slash bin. And this is just going to uh, point Maya to the XGen um, plugin correctly in its bin directory uh, of its Maya folder. Uh, this should be all you need. I believe there is one extra path that you can put in as well. Um, however, I've only just used this path here. Uh, the other path is Maya underscore path slash plugins uh, slash xgen slash bin. However, mine just worked straight off the bat with that. That because that may be because of some existing uh, paths that I've got set. So um, yeah, that might not be the same for you. So after you've added that line in, you want to save and then close that. And that should be all you need. Um, however, you may need to add a Windows environment variable as well. So to do that, you want to just go to your search bar and type in environ, um, and then you can edit system environment variables. Then if you go to environment variables, um, you'll need to click new and type in path, and then that will create a new path. Uh, uh, a new in, uh, environment variable for the system. So you can just call the variable name path and then the variable value path and that will do the trick. Okay, so in Maya, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna create a scene uh, and save it to a project. So um, I'm gonna set the project, I've already created one. Um, it's gonna be tutorials set. And then we're gonna save as Fur tutorial. All right. So if you don't do that, um, it will not work correct correctly. It will not work correctly as XGen won't be able to write paths uh, to its files that it needs to write in order to create your fur descriptions. So I'm just going to quickly add in some geometry now um, and some lights so we have something to put this fur on. So um, I'll speed this part of the video up. Okay, so you can see I've set up my scene now. Um, it's just a pretty simple scene. Just got that three-point light set up that's provided by um, Renderman. Um, and just a simple surface shader applied to the eyes and the face and then a plane there just for a bit of extra bounce light. Um, so let's get into XGen. So I'm just going to save this before I go ahead. Uh, also at this stage, I'd also like to recommend if you're planning on putting a dome light in, put it in before you start using XGen. For some reason, if you put it in after you start using XGen, um, it's not visible in your, uh, in your viewport. I don't know why this is. It still renders correctly, but it's kind of a pain that it doesn't have it in the viewport. So uh, yes, XGen. So go to your XGen shelf, um, and then let's decide what we want to do so far as fur goes. So um, let's just put fur on part of him. So I can do this by just selecting which faces I want to apply it to. I'm just going to do a strip through the center just like that. Then we're going to use this button here, which is going to open the XGen um, tab on the right, and let's click Create New Description. We can create the description called Fur Guy One. Um, which is like the the parent uh, of all the collection. Uh, sorry, the collection is the parent of all the descriptions. So we can call this fur guy underscore collection, and let's change it to groom wolf splines because we're creating fur. 
And as you can see, we've got something happening, but um, it's not quite right. So uh, first thing we need to do before we do anything else is go to preview output. We want to change the renderer to render man. Uh, secondly, there's probably not enough primitives there to be useful for anyone. So um, let's just go to uh, grooming and we can change that to 500 say. And if I click that button, it'll update it. Um, and then let's make the width taper a little bit. Um, and what else can we do? Uh, let's add a modifier for noise. Um, and I think the default will give us some pretty decent noise. So if you go back to grooming and just want to see what your um, preview looks like, just turn visibility off and you can see that's sort of what we'll be getting. Um, however, we do have one more problem. The XGen Fur doesn't currently have a render man shader applied to it. So we need to go to our hypershade editor. You can do this two different ways. I prefer to do it this way personally. Um, and we want to grab the outliner select your um, your description on the left hand side there it's got a little green folder next to it um, then you want to go to render man materials Martian here is a good material to use because it's designed for hair and then you want to select that description right click on your hair material and assign to selection and then why don't we make the hair something Cool. Now we can close that. And hopefully, if I've done anything correctly, that's what he looks like before fur. And um, so, should be what he looks like after. All right, so he's got some fur happening. Could you tell I was holding my breath? <laughs> fur can be a bit of a pain, um, as I'm sure some of you are well aware. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's all you need to get started with fur. Then it's just a matter of going in and playing with the uh, Marshner Hair presets. Um, I've got a Marshner Hair shader tutorial that I did for Renderman 20, which should still be relevant for uh, 21. So go check that out if you want to learn more about that shader in particular and how it all works and all of its parameters. Otherwise, if you've liked this video, make sure you click the like button so other people can find it um, if you think they might be having trouble as well. Um, and if you haven't already, maybe you should subscribe because I put up a new video every week except this week where I'm putting up tons of videos in celebration of Renderman 21's release. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it though. Thank you very much for watching and uh, happy rendering.